Okay, I'm at the machine, and the first thing that you need to do is to remove the foot that's on your machine, and along with using this screwdriver here, along with the shank that holds it, and I have not, this is the first time I've loosened this screw, so... This is a first. This is my Luminaire, and I have not embroidered on this machine yet. So, you're getting to see what happens on video. Now, the foot that comes with the Luminaire is uh, different than the Dream Machine. You do not have the cord that plugs into the back, and that's because the technology is different on this machine. You want to make sure that you tighten this because the machine stitches a thousand stitches a minute make sure your needles tight too now one thing I don't want you to do is tighten your needle so much that you strip the thread you want to make sure and particularly those of you who sew on other machines that you have the bobbin that came with your machine you can look in your manual about the size of the bobbins, but I'll also post more online to, to show you what these bobbins are. They're larger than the bobbins that came with the earlier machines, so just make sure that you have the correct one. You can remove the plate on your machine if you wanted to put the straight stitch plate on. I'm going to leave it with the, the zigzag stitch for right now, but you want to make sure that the bobbin that's in the bobbin case, and actually this is the one that was on your machine when it was delivered, is the one with the green screw. Now to put this cover back on the machine, you, it's easier if you don't have a foot on your machine, you just slide it into place and then press down gently. And now the next thing we're going to talk about is winding the bobbins. You want to make sure that you're using the thread that was supplied or you have a 60 weight thread that is a light polyester thread that is made for this machine. And that means that it, on the machine, this is what the tension was set up for on, on the bobbin case. To thread your bobbin, it's very easy. I'm going to move my camera in just a moment. Okay, we're going to wind a bobbin, and let's go over that. There are a couple of different ways you can wind it. One thing you can do is, you, depending on the type of uh, thread that you have in the spool, you can put it on the stand. You can also put it on the supplementary stool, not stool, spool that uh, you have. And what you want to make sure that you do is that you put a, a disc that is the correct size on it. This is actually too small because you want it to be slightly larger. So what I'll do is stand it up and I want to take it through the top and then I want to bring it down through this clip and around the disc, the tension disc, place my bobbin on the machine, I'll wind it around several times, and then there's actually a cutter. You just want to pull it back and it'll cut your thread. Now you have a choice of filling up your bobbin all the way or partially. I want this bobbin filled up all the way, but, and I'll turn the bobbin motor on. Now, um, you heard my machine make a noise, and the reason it did is I hadn't hadn't moved from the startup screen. So. I'm sorry this camera is not steady. I'm holding it in my hand right now. What you want to do is press start and you'll notice that your bobbin is winding. When it fills up, you have, you have an opportunity to lower the speed or increase the speed, but when it fills up, it will stop.
Okay. When it stops, that's what you expect to hear. Now what you want to do is to remove the bobbin and using that cutter, you would cut your thread. I'm going to do this off the video. Okay, I've winded the bobbin and now it's time to put the bobbin in my machine. And you do have a graphic on the bed of your machine that shows you how to put the bobbin in. But for somebody that's new, I tell them to set their bobbin case on the machine and make sure that the thread is coming off of the spool and moving counterclockwise and facing the machine. And then you just drop it into the bobbin case and you have this metal clip that's here that you want to make sure your thread goes under that metal clip and you just move it around and it cuts off. You replace your bobbin cover by gently, well first of all you put, you make sure that you have it going the correct uh, direction and you'll just slide it in place and press it down. You want to make sure that it is pressed down and it's not moving. All right. 